Ironwood Games. This is Andrew, and welcome back to our quick draft. Uh, this is uh, we're going to be starting game four here. We are two and one uh, with our uh, red white artifacts deck. Um, it does things, uh, so it's not bad. Um, our one loss we did keep uh, a sketchy hand. Um, it didn't pay off. Might have been a mulligan. Um, if you watched those videos. Um, you probably have some opinions on that. If not, I say, you know, go back, check that out, see what you think on that. Um, the other ones, I think we did well. Uh, we did enough to get the victory on those. So let's jump into game four here and see what we get. All right. I am... Who am I? That's a good question. Um, so this was... This is, is similar to... Our other questionable keep. Um, we have two planes. Uh, the Dusk Rose Well Aquary, which can't do anything on its own. And then a four drop. Uh, we really need a red source... Uh, to get anywhere, um, let's try and be smart and uh, mole. Keep this six. Um, uh, this is um, interesting. I think we get rid of this room. Play for having some things to do. All right, I think we're going second, so we get the draw. Um, looks like our opponent might be on a aggressive start. Uh, we'll see. Red, red. What have they got? No creature though. Um, always punished on. Drawing our one drops on turn two after we when we have our two drop, but that's alright. We can play it next turn uh, with nothing else. We're looking at being able to play it turn four. Great is fine. Okay, so again, no play from our opponent. So we'll market gnome and then we'll pickaxe. Um, we can Capricotti on our next turn. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, and then we can equip it on the following turn. No attacks. If we want, get double triggers here by tap, tap. That. So yeah, we've got a similar kind of thing. I think our opponent will attack here. Getting the trigger and offering the trade. Interesting, they did not... They chose not to attack, at least. Um, they're tapped out, so... Gonna have one attacker... Tap, tap. Cast that. Let's get our own Tinker's Tote. And... See what they want to do as far as blockers. Go to damage. The other thing that's really nice about that is it lets us play out our Guardian. Uh, one. Two, three, four. Um, so, depending on what our opponent got, we're out of cards. However, we have this 5-5 uh, five, five that can discover and make treasure, which helps him 
to discover. Um, we can put it over on the 4-4 four four and just hit for 5 in the air. I am really happy uh, to take this trade. Um, I think we'll attack too, because I don't want to block um, there and die to that Scorch trick. Um, so we'll tap, tap, uh, sure. Get another creature. I think just getting the free spells and the creatures and building out our board. I don't know if it's best for our opponent to, like, triple block and get rid of that. I don't know what they have in their hand. Um, but... If that's what's best for them, that's really good for me. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Might as well put the pickaxe here. Um, we'll play a land. Just in case. Alright. Um, at this point, we can't forget about our opponent's three life. Um, at this point, I like what we've got. I'd like my opponent to run out of cards a little bit more. So I could feel, you know, a little more confident about what's going on. The question here that I have, we could move the pickaxe here to make this a 3-5. Um, no, I think we just attack with both. Um, force our opponent to have something better on a trick there or yeah uh, take a chump fine that's fine we Sizic monster sword um, and we're looking really good and our opponent decided to save okay so this deck likes to do its things um i'm you know impressed with it i'm happy with what's going on all right let's go into game five let's see how far we can take this one again this is quick draft uh lost caverns of ixalan we're playing our red white Artifact Synergy deck. Just trying to hold the ground, trade for some things, and then uh, steal it somewhere in the end. Um, so I got one, two. Um, three, like, we got options here. The only bad thing with that is that doesn't let us play our tapped land right away, but if this is turn three, then we can play it on turn three. Um, let's see what our opponent has. I think it's better to just start getting our uh, stuff out. Asking happy bar is good. Um, well, I like... This lets us start getting damage in. So I think we are going to do that. We don't mind blocking. Um, then next turn... 
We can Sunscribe, Hidden Volcano. And I think that's just as good as anything else. Um, this lets us get our scry for our following turn. We don't need a land. Not yet. Because um, on turn four, I can wander glyph. Pickaxe. Uh, no attacks. We don't need to. Yeah, I'm not going to block. Um, I'm happy to just ping. Um, if you got some kind of pump spell or something. I don't want it. Okay, now we have different options, though. I don't really want to discard. So I think we're still going to Wander Glyph. Um, I think we'll put the Pickaxe here. I don't mind trading the Wander Glyph for a trick um, on a block. we will do this first just in case he has some way to blow up my pickaxe on equip or something so um do we need a land no we don't have blood um we'll get a fifth land at some point for that and that'll be nice because we'll just start dealing damage to our opponent we'll be dealing three a turn um for a while Um, we don't, and if we get extra lands, we can discard them for that. No attacks. Um, end of turn. I guess we could have gone in for an extra damage, uh, or really two if we had tapped here and then attacked with that. Um, but we didn't. Oh well. Um, this is not looking good for my opponent. Must have kept a really... really bad hand. Um, so let's go tap, tap, no tap, tap, scry, we'll put another land on the bottom. Discard planes. Alright, draw mountain is fine. Alright, what have you got? Alright, good. Um. Now we're one, two, three, four a turn. Yeah, swamp cycling. So it looks like my opponent is missing, definitely missing land, missing swamps. On top of that, um, yeah, we'll play this. We will put here. Tap. Tap. Scry the land away. Do the damage. Uh, we 
we don't want to tap this one, so we will tap, tap. Alright, next. Um, do we just attack with it though? I think we do just attack. Um, we have this for blocks. I think four damage is better than two damage. Uh, well, I know four damage is better than two damage. My opponent didn't have much available. Yeah, that was... Um, we'll take the victory. Unfortunate for my opponent to uh, get the mana screw like that. Um, we did make a good decision on that. Um, Mulligan, though. Let's do this. A little Chandra there. Okay. So let's go continue. That was uh, game five. We'll go to game six here. See if we can squeak another one out. All right. We've got two colors. Uh, we can cycle, we can do all this. I think we keep this. Um, yeah, there we go. We got a third land. So we've got two, three. We've got options on four. Part to mail. Okay, interesting. like a little descend something deck um question is do we cartographer's companion or tinker's tote and i want a cartographer's companion only because it's gonna give us two power so if they sacrifice say the goblin uh, to it, we can like it's not, they can't get the one over on us, um, and we can do this. We'll deal one, leave up a blocker. We can't block the menace. Um, we do need to draw another land to get these fours out. Um, all right, so now. Looks like they're going to try and do some descent. Shenans. Shenanzaganzas. Um, I think we can go in the air. I think we tap, tap. Still need to leave up blockers. Um, so, and we're happy for like bad trades, no attacks. Um, in the dead. Okay, that's fine. on any of these. Say, I would have taken any of those. Would like to play Panicked Altasaur. Um... We play this guy. We give it to the companion. Um... Here's why. It's because they have to double block to block it, so they're more likely to take two. If they double block, I eat one of these two guys. Um, 
And if they don't want me to choose, they double block with this and that. But yeah, I think they just take it. Um, which they did. Oh, I suppose I could have gone in for a better point of damage. That was on me. But I didn't need to. And here we're going to Tinker's Tote. Do need to keep enough blockers up so we don't want to send and tap everyone out. Um, so I think we could do. So we're probably not going to block that. We'll just take the one. I would block here, double block here. But then we need. I would probably double block that to get. Make him have to sacrifice two things. Yeah, I think we just leave these blockers up. Um, because of this death touch, and we can't kill both of these, um, that's bad. They're very unlikely to. Oh, now we got double death touchers. Yeah. Um. Panicked Altasaur. We just are trying to do four at a time, really. Um, so now they're on a three turn clock between all of our things. Next. Um, and then, really, we can. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's three more damage on our final turn. So, I think size of monster sword might be enough uh, to get it done. These death touchers kind of don't scare us once we have uh, the damage that gets through them. Yeah, this guy, Bartolome is good. But I'm not sure how good he is. Um, this is still blockable here. That's fun. Okay. So how do we do this? We... Uh, tap, tap... To hit you for one. Then we Dusk Rose Reliquary... Uh, sacrificing... Map. The question is, what do we... get rid of? I think we get rid of Bartholome. Um... And then... That. Uh, that blocks there. Blocks there. I think we hit one more. Next, because we want to bring no attacks. We want to bring our opponent down. 
as close as we can. So that one, two... Okay. Excellent. Yeah, I think it's nice to have those guys and get them two is good. I Like that time, we never played the second one because um, we didn't need it. If they had removed it, we could have uh, done that. But I think it's good to have... Like they they make they make that deck work. Um, those guys, the panicked, and some of these other pieces, I think, uh, make it a, a decent deck. Um, on that, so um, we're at five and one. Uh, that's six games. We'll see if we can. Uh, get a few more wins in the next video for you guys. This one will be a little bit short um, on that. So come back in the next one. We'll see if we can get to two more wins before we get those two losses. All right. See ya.